So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. It's you know definitely more than four lines long. So let's read this and see um, what we can translate, what we can write down. So the question says an online store receives customer service, I'm sorry, customer satisfaction ratings between zero and 100 inclusive. So we know that the rating is somewhere between zero and 100. Inclusive just means it can be a zero, it can be 100. It doesn't just have to be the numbers between those two values. In the first 10 ratings the store received, the average arithmetic mean of the ratings was 75. So again, I don't know what the sum... So first of all, we determine the mean by adding up all of the ratings, dividing by 10, right? Because there were 10 ratings. And then we would get the answer of 75 in this case. I don't know what the sum of those ratings is, um, but I can find that out because if I multiply, again, I can get rid of this. If I multiply by 10 on both sides, I now know the sum of those rating is 750, but I, I don't know what each individual rating was. But I do know that when you add all those ratings together from the first 10 ratings, the, um, the sum must have been 750. So the next sentence says, what is the least value the store can receive for the 11th rating and still be able to have an average of at least 85 for the first 20 ratings? So that's a very interesting question. I'll read it again. What is the least value the store can receive for the 11th rating? So I'm going to say X plus, let's say, 11th rating. Right, but plus, I'm going to add in another nine ratings. And then when I divide all of that by 20, I want to be greater than or equal to 85. Right, so there's my interpretation or my translation of that last sentence. What is the least value the store can receive for the 11th rating? So here's, here's what I don't know. And in fact, I know that X is 750, so I can, I can add that in. So here's what I, I don't know the 11th rating, but I know I want it to be the smallest number possible um, and still be able to have an average of at least 85 for the first 20 ratings. So here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to, first of all, multiply both sides by 20. So 85 times 20 is 1,700. And the 20s cross out on this side. So I have replace X with 750. So I have 750. I have my 11th rating. I have rating ratings 12 through 20, right? So I'll just say plus 9 more ratings, 9R. And that's got to be greater than or equal to 1,700. So when I subtract 750 from both sides, let's go up here for more space. I have whatever that 11th rating is, so 11th R, plus 9 more ratings. And that has to be greater than or equal to 1,700 minus 750 is 950. Okay. Now, obviously, the lowest rating that you can get is zero. So I'm going to start there. Is it possible that the 11th rating is a zero? Well, if I'm going as low as possible there, then I should probably go as high as possible on these. So if I, if I go to give the last nine ratings all 100s, those would be 900, right? And that would not work because zero plus 900 is in fact not greater than or equal to 950. So knowing that the greatest number I can get from the last nine ratings is 900, that tells me that the lowest rating I can get from the 11th rating is 50, right? Because 50 plus 900 is greater than or equal to 950, right? So we could get more than 50 and make this true, but 50 is the lowest value for that 11th rating that would make this equation or this inequality work. And therefore, the answer is 50.